That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya and today I'm going to be ranting, okay, about some, some stuff, okay, that happened at the carcass show in LA that I was at. Um, at this point, uh, y'all have already seen part one and part two of my carcass vlog. Um, uh, the first one was exploring Los Angeles, went to Amoeba, had a great time. The second part was the actual show. So this was all the concert footage. I just kind of like layered them all in. It was just, just so much footage, <laughs> but I wanted to have y'all be, feel like you were a part of the experience. Okay. So that's the whole point of me doing the concert vlogs. It was an amazing experience. But I gotta tell you something, me and the boys, uh, I went with two of my Discord members um, slash subscribers, Cassidy and Russ, we all felt that there was like, girl, okay, they were rushing. We got to the show, first I'll say it was at the Kia Forum in Inglewood, California, and uh, we the show was supposed to start at 6.30, okay, doors open at like 5, I think. We showed up at like 6.35 or like 7, no, I think we showed up at like 7 o'clock, 7.05, something like that. So we thought for sure we were going to miss cattle decapitation, okay? Turns out <laughs> that they were running super behind at the show. And when we arrived, we actually saw, we came at cattle decapitation's very first song, okay? They only played four songs, okay? I'm a, I'm a rant. I'm a rant, girl. So they played four songs. And we were like, okay, we missed like the latter half of their full set, right? Then 15 minutes goes by and Obituary goes onto the stage and it's great. They play super fast set. Don't even say anything. It was crazy. It was like they were playing a song. They announced that they were doing this new single and then boom, all the lights turned off and then they came back on and people were getting to, you know, taking off their instruments and stuff like that. It was super like sudden. Nobody said anything. Like there was no like, goodbye. Thanks for like watching. Nothing, nothing. And uh, it was very weird. It was like, I don't know. I could feel a little tension there. Um, so we definitely noticed that and we were kind of thinking, you know, the sets are so short, maybe they're behind. Then Carcass comes up and again, set goes like that fast, okay? It was literally seven to nine and all it was Amon Amarth's turn to already perform. This might not seem weird to you, but I just, girl, girl, there's some funky things. Two hours, okay? Three bands, two hours. We're including 10 to 15 minutes of like full setup change, you know? Cattle Decapitation was the only one that had, like, some stage stuff, you know, like little satanic stick things, which were really cool. Obituary just put up their flag, I'm pretty sure, and then Carcass actually had one of the cooler setups, of course, because it's Carcass, so they had, like, a lot of, like, teleprompter TV things that were, like, doing all kinds of flashy things. I don't know. Their special effects were really cool you know and of course they had the carcass flag and like the spoon and the fork on the side which were there for most of the other two previous artists sets so not a lot of like major stage setups but i mean with two hours three bands all of a sudden it was a monomarth's turn okay and i mentioned this in the part two vlog but like <sighs> carcass was money Okay, I'm so grateful I got to go to this show because to be able to see these four bands, Amon Amarth, Cattle Decapitation, Obituary, and Carcass all in the same venue was like crazy. It was literally, for a brand new metalhead, it was insane to be able to just like experience legends like that. <laughs> so it was really cool. Uh, Carcass did a phenomenal job, of course. They really like amped up the crowd the mosh pit was insane literally the biggest rowdiest mosh pit i've seen it was crazier than cannibal corpse it was crazier than august burns red of course but it was rowdy and uh 
it was huge. And so after Carcass's show, we were like, okay, 10 to 15 minutes, Amon Marth will come up. The show will be done by 10, right? Wrong, okay? And wrong. <laughs> uh, Amon Marth's whole crew took like almost 40 minutes, no joke, to set up with like tr transition. And they put up like a huge you know, barrier, so you didn't see, at least the people in general admission that were facing the stage, they didn't see anything that was going on, um, and it took 35 to 40 minutes for them to then have their projector horns come on and for the show to start, and by that point, it was like the whole crowd was just kind of like dead, honestly, it was like all of the amped up energy was like not there anymore. People were still excited to see Amon Amarth. They had really, really cool effects and, and well, not effects, but it was stage props. So they had their drummer in like this Viking helmet with these huge horns around him. They had these giant Viking statues and fire, like real fire. I don't even know how <laughs> the drummer and those musicians were able to handle so much fire because it was like blazing and you could feel the heat like I could feel the heat and I was like 20 feet away from the stage maybe 30 but like I could feel the heat and I was like woo girl spicy so it was it was a lot you know Amana Marth had a pretty decent set we didn't stay for the entire thing because they were obviously touring their newer album and if you keep up with that and keep up with the Mon Marth, you will probably agree with me in the assessment that their newer album was subpar or not very good at all. So I haven't listened to it. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't listened to it because uh, I just haven't had the time yet. Um, but a lot of people's assessments were that it's not very good. However, you know, I liked what I heard with the Mon Marth. I liked their whole setup. Uh, it was... It was a fun show. It was definitely a fun show, but we had also been there for a minute. But what is my point? What's the point, Kaya? Okay, here, I'll get to the point. Don't give cattle decapitation four effing songs. Don't. Just don't, okay? I don't understand. I don't. Yes, they were running behind, okay? And I have the freaking, I went, girl. Don't mess with me. I got the freaking receipts here. Look at this. Cattle decapitation set list for December 17th. You have four freaking songs. And they had transition pieces. So they have those white rabbits. They're like opener song. And then they have this anthropogenic end transmission. That's their first kind of like set. The first part of their set. And then they usually play a few songs and then enter the great dying part one. That's like the second half of their set. They only did four effing songs. I get it. They were behind, but girl, you're playing a massive arena. You got people paying decent bucks for this freaking show and you give them four freaking songs. And look at this. So obituary on the 17th, same show, six mother effing songs, and one of them was a freaking cover. What the heck? What the heck? Redneck stomp, though. Redneck stomp stomped. It was so good. But this pissed me off. And then what really pissed me off, so Camel's Decapitation got nine songs, which is a pretty decent set, but it, it's really fast. Most of these songs are anywhere from you know, three to four minutes. Carcass definitely played less than 30 minutes. That's basically what I'm trying to say. That's basically the point of this whole rant is every single band except for Amana Marth played for less than 30 minutes, okay? December 5th, Carcass's full set. This is at, this is in Madison, Wisconsin, okay? I have a comparison. In December 5th, the same month in Madison, Wisconsin, Carcass played 11 songs, so two extra songs. That's a great healthy set that's, you know, probably almost 40 minutes. You're probably getting about 35 minutes of, of music, straight music, 40 minutes probably in total if they interacted with the crowd. But I would say it's closer to 35 because Carcass was just like slamming these songs. They weren't really giving you a lot of 
time to breathe, which is why the mosh pit was so big. It was just slamming you with these songs, okay? Then you go to a Monomarth. They played their whole freaking set. They played their whole set. Granted, they're the headliners. I got it. If you're a diehard on Monomarth fan, I applaud you. I appreciate that. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, okay? But Amon and Marth played their literal entire set, like 14 songs at least, um, their, their whole set. The other three bands, not even 30 minutes. I get it, they're, they ran behind. Like, I guess my point is, is if you're going to play a stadium tour and you've got people buying real tickets and paying a decent amount of money. Like I think our tickets were like $60 a piece or something like that, which is granted more on the affordable side compared to Metallica. But <laughs> uh, girl, uh-uh, don't give cattle decapitation four songs. Don't give obituary six songs, okay? If you're running behind, you gotta make things work. I understand, but if Amon and Marth's team didn't take so long with the stage preparation, then all of the other bands would have had another at least five minutes, ten minutes to wrap up their set, at least for obituary to like do more. But it really seemed like obituary got cut off. Like they played their sixth song and i think it was the yeah the wrong time that was their new that was their new song and it was like as soon as that ended boom lights go off don't hear anything and then they come back on to show like the show is over you know music plays the stadium music plays so we were thinking that they just like literally had the stage cut their mics off and and cut the show off to force them to stop you know maybe we're wrong Stadiums are funny because it's like, I know that there's not a sound ordinance for Inglewood. And if, if I can go to a small, way smaller venue, the Diamond Ballroom in the middle of Oklahoma and literally have music go until at least 11 p.m. or midnight, five bands, and they get to play full sets, okay? Cannibal Corpse show, full sets. Granted, did it start on time? <laughs> but between transitions and like all of these songs, they got to play 30 to 45 minutes. And that's really, really standard for shows. 30 to 45 minutes, roughly speaking. I mean, you're able to fit, like my band is able to fit 10 to 12 songs in about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, it might be like 14 because I do have a couple shorter songs. But I mean, if you're interacting with the crowd, you know, you can stretch those 10 songs, those nine songs, you whatever, into the 45 minutes. But that's not, that wasn't the case here, you know? And I felt really bad for Cattle Decapitation. They killed their set. They were really, really good, but girl, four songs. So that's, that's my rant, you know? I mean, I get it. I know that Amon Marth is the headliner. They, so they have to, you know, I'm assuming their record label and everything, like they have to perform their full set. It was also really interesting to see the like, it's going to sound weird, but the gap between the other three bands and Amon Marth. um, and what I mean by that is because Amon Amarth is so like mainstream, their whole setup really reminded me of Miley Cyrus's bangers tour in terms of like the props and everything because it was so like in your face money. Like this record label is putting in money for your tour. That's what it was. It's not a bad thing either because obviously Amon Amarth is very successful and they have really good songs, but you could just tell there was a difference between like Cal Decapitation's little stick, <laughs> stick pendulum things and like 
Amon Amarth's giant Viking statues. So it was fun. I had a really great time. I just wish that we could have had a little bit more of carcass, a little bit more of cattle, definitely, and just a little more breathing room for obituary to properly close out their set. Because that's a, you know, I've been there before where it's like you're on a time crunch and you've got to cut songs, you know, and it's hard. It's hard because you want to like enjoy the show and you want to be able to interact with the crowd, but you know you're on a time crunch. You've got all these other people, you know, doing things. So and then you also have to make the choice of like, okay, what songs are we going to cut? Especially because like they're releasing they just released a new album but at the point of this show it hadn't been released yet but anyway I digress I really enjoyed the show I encourage you to watch at least part two of the carcass vlog definitely watch part one if you want uh, let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts on this I know this is kind of like just random but girl uh girl I just, I wanted more, but I also was very satisfied and fulfilled. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. What do you think about these things? Um, yeah, if you've seen any of these bands live, if you got to catch um, this tour with the Monomarth as the headliner, Obituary, Carcass, and Cattle Decapitation, if you got to see this tour, let me know. And where did you see them? And did you enjoy it? Did you feel like it was fast? Did you feel like things were running a little bit more smoothly. So that's the other thing too, is like this was apparently their last show, either before the holiday or the last show of their whole tour. So maybe they were just itching to finish, who knows? So anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.